All right. In this video, we are going to be talking about how you can register your business with CAC yourself without having to pay anyone to do it for you. So in our last video, we talked about this first one, which is the name search or public search. And then we also trace this name reservation. So in this particular video you are watching right now, we are going to be tracing how to register the company. Then another video I'm going to make this last part is not that important if you are not planning to use uh, to open a business account with the company with the business details. So the third part of this video, we are going to treat this last one. Now, if you have not watched this two step, I'm going to leave a link below this video where you can go ahead and watch that video, then come back to this video so that we can continue. Now, um, in our last video, we um, treated this two. Now, when we do this name reservation, I got an email. So let me show you the email. So I got this email from CAC, which is the name reservation approved. And you can see this is the name we picked in the last video with these two names. So you are going to see the name they approved here. So they approved this first one. That's not. So this is the one we are going to use for this registration. So we are just going to come back. All right. So once you get here, you can see that um, this is still pending but it's not really on pending because if you click here we see that there's no record there so since the name has already been approved from my email address so that means the email should be here which is reserved so i'm just going to click on this reserved then you can see that we have this name here and i'm just going to click on search registration so from here i'm going to put the date the business was commenced so we want to put today the same day that the business was commenced. So put the email address, the phone number. Then here is where you want to put the address, the office address. If you are running the business from home, you put your home address. Then you want to show down if you have any branch, you can put it here. If you have another branch, you can add another branch here. But basically, I'm just going to click on save and continue. All right. So from here, you can see the um you can see the particular of the proprietors so which means you want to add the details of the company more details about the company so this is my name right here the phone number the email address so for now i'm going to be the director of the company maybe later i'm going to add my partner details but for now i'm just going to continue with this available details so i'm just going to click on continue all right so at this point this is where we want to add the business next show so i'm just going to add the remember what you add earlier which is information uh, technology information and communication technology then um, you are going to talk about the nature of the business so for this particular business we are using it to sell accessories so selling then um, from here just give your business like give it more details so once you are done with that just click on save and continue okay said kindly add nature of the business okay sorry so i'm just going to click on add nature of the business then from here i can easily edit it so once i'm done with that i'm just going to click on um, save and continue now this is where i'm going to submit the miss of identity the signature my own signature I'm also going to submit a passport photograph and others. This is optional. Yeah, this is optional. So these are the three documents I'm going to submit my identity, my signature, and my passport. So you can use your phone to take selfie and all that. So you want to make sure you see this. The only file, the format that is accepted here is um, PDF. Why the format that is accepted here is um, jpn um, jpeg image and also the format that is accepted here is um, png jpeg image now let's assume that your miss of identity is in png you can easily convert it with pdf just by going to google and type let me just do it png to pdf you can see from here so if the file is in jpeg as well you can just type jpeg to pdf here so from here you can i've just open one of this link then you just upload the file here then you are going to convert it then you are good to go so right now i'm just going to go ahead and input this necessary upload this necessary information all right so these are all my three documents and 
we can see from here that this thing is in jpeg which is jp uh, jpg yeah so and if you come here if you come back here you will see that the earlier i said png so what i'm going to do now is that as i said earlier i'm just going to go back to google and i'm going to use jpg to pdf now i'm going to use this one to convert it now i'm just going to select the image from here then once you select it you want to leave it the way it is just click on this convert to pdf then it's going to load then um now you can see that the image has been converted to pdf so you want to come here and download it now if i come back here and let me so this is the image so i'm just going to draw it yeah okay you can see that this is the initial image which is jpg and you can see this is the pdf image which is pdf so this is the one we are going to use so now i'm just going to come back to this um, registration page then i'm going to upload okay so you can see this is the image this is what i'm going to choose then again uh, okay you can see the status has been uploaded you can check it to view it this is the right um, information so now i'm just going to come back here again and click on this to upload my signature so i'm just going to click on upload and i'm going to pick my signature from here click on it then it's going to upload it has been uploaded then here i'm going to upload my passport photograph so you can use your selfie image or you just have a full image and you just want to cut out the necessary part like the way passport usually is now so you understand so just click on here to upload oh, this is the image i'm going to use just going to upload it now everything is uploaded as you can see this orders this one is optional so once i'm done with this i'm just going to click on save and continue then it's going to show me the what i've been doing since which is going to be my business name um the part so is the nature of the business then going to the presenter which is the director of the company and all that once you have go through this and you see that okay everything is in place go through it again then make sure that everything is correct so once you confirm that it's correct you want to click to proceed to payment so this is going to load up the payment page now initially you are supposed to pay 10,000 naira for this but as usual you are going to be added some other charges now once you are ready to pay just we shall know that you are ready to pay anyway so just click on this remitter so at this remitter you can pay with your card um, in era and all those things but i like to pay with bank transfer so i'm just going to click here and it's going to generate a bank for me then this is the bank account i'm going to pay into you want to take notes of this you want to pay the exact amount including this point 25 that is how you want to pay it you don't go ahead and go and pay let me just say um 10,170 or you go ahead and pay 10,650 or you go ahead and pay 10,160 um, or not that pay as it appears there don't don't go and overdo don't overpay don't underpay All right, you can see that the payments has been successful and this is the payments receipt again you want to make sure you download this receipt it's very very important so download it i'm going to download this receipt now once i'm done with that i'm just going to click to go back to dashboard then you can see from here that um, we have one reserve name and we have under the business registration we have one pending approved so once it's approved you are going to see it on this register so once it's registered that is when we can now go ahead and request for our um tin if you are not using this to open a business account you can skip that tin part but um, for me later on i'm going to use this company to open account so that is why i add this um tin so what we want to do right now is to check the description of this video uh, maybe by the time you are watching this video i've already made a video about this tin but if i have not then just keep checking it might take like maybe like a week or two for me to get this video 
So that is everything we are going to cover in this video.